Hi Tubes, today I decided to change the temp sensor on my computer case. I did put that, that thing in it to know when I have to take the dust out, out of my computer. I know if, if it reaches uh, about 40 degrees I have to take my air blower, blower and blow the, uh, the dust out of it. But this one has no backlight anymore. So I decided to buy a new one. But it was delivered with Molex connectors and I don't want to add Molex connectors on my power supply because it's already plenty of wires. So I decided to take a connector from my power supply chop it off and weld the temp sensor on it. I don't I don't need these two wires so I take them off. I've already moved them a bit so it was easier to, to take off. So, This is not easy to do when you miss a thumb. Some heat shrink.
this is enough for me here it is fresh it's a bit fresh in my workshop and of course it's cooling down here because I had my my welder next to it so you can see it's working it's not really stable stable but doesn't matter I'm going to fit it on another place I did cut a hole in one of those things and I'm going to place it here so I'm going to insert the temp sensor in this thing I cut a hole in it with my Dremel it's got some clips on the side but the gap between the this flange and the the clip is too wide so I really need to hot glue it in place so that if my my son 15 years 15 months old son comes and see this thing he will not take it apart side on the other side that's enough here you can see it in place I did put the tiny temp sensor here between the SATA ca cables so it's in the middle of the of the computer's case so I can know when it becomes a bit hot I hope you did enjoy this see you next time tubes